At the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station, groundwater continues to flow into the buildings housing the reactors, increasing the levels of water contamination. After removing the main radioactive material, cesium, some of the contaminated water is reused for cooling the reactors, while the rest is stored in tanks built within the site of the power station. A number of measures have been taken to avoid generating water contamination, such as diverting groundwater away from the reactors and guarding against leaks from the water storage units. In addition to these measures, decontamination of the stored water is essential to resolving the issue. After cesium is removed by the water treatment, a large amount of strontium remains in the contaminated water. The removal of strontium from stored contaminated water reduces the risk of soil or marine contamination in the event of possible leakage. It also lowers the level of radiation in the areas surrounding the power station and reduces the amount of radiation exposure on workers. In order to speed up the decontamination process, TEPCO treats the water using various equipment, including multi-nuclide removal equipment known as the ALPS system. Further, TEPCO employs mobile strontium removal equipment and has improved cesium removing devices such as SARI and Curion to add the capability to remove strontium in addition to cesium. This video introduces the multi-nuclide removal equipment, one of the systems for cleaning contaminated water. This is also known as ALPS, short for Advanced Liquid Processing System. ALPS is capable of removing most radioactive materials in the contaminated water. ALPS has a mechanism similar to a household water purifier. A household water purifier uses a filter to remove foreign matter, such as impurities and rust, to purify tap water. In the case of multinuclide removal equipment, absorbent granules are used to clean the contaminated water. In order to improve the absorption efficiency, calcium and other elements are eliminated from the contaminated water before the water is fed through the equipment. The water is continuously fed through various types of absorbent materials to remove specific radioactive materials, including strontium. The existing multinuclide removal equipment, or ALPS, began trial operation in March 2013. The actual cleanup of contaminated water is underway while we continue to monitor the equipment's capacity. In September 2014, the installation of a new version of ALPS was completed for testing using actual contaminated water to confirm the system's performance. A series of improvements were made to the equipment based on operating results at existing facilities. In October 2014, a test operation of the high-performance version was launched. While its nuclide removal performance is equivalent to that of the existing system, the new equipment generates less waste in the cleanup operation. The installation of these systems is expected to accelerate the comprehensive water decontamination process. Tritium water, contained in contaminated water, cannot be differentiated from regular water and is extremely difficult to remove. Tritium exists naturally in atmospheric moisture and in the oceans and releases a minuscule amount of energy. It has an extremely small impact on people and the environment compared to other radioactive materials. However, TEPCO is working with external experts to identify an appropriate way of treating it. TEPCO will continue to work on resolving the issue of contaminated water as quickly and efficiently as possible, as it is a key step in the safe and steady progress of plant decommissioning.